Hey, I'm Chase and welcome to the Four Walls Festival, coming to you live from sunny Auckland, New Zealand. Over the past four weeks, we challenged our community to create a one to five minute short film with only one rule. It had to be shot within the four walls of their house. Over the next hour, we're gonna be watching 18 of the best films submitted to the festival and seeing who takes away their share of the grand 20K prize, thanks to Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. We're also gonna be giving away a Genie Mini to someone who comments in the stream, so if you're not watching on YouTube, head over there. Um, you'll be able to watch in full screen, see all the comments and stuff like that. Um, now that that's out of the way, let's get into what we're here for. Our first entry comes from a team in Florida, Canada, and Mexico. This is Duck Move. Hola, my name is Sasha Hernandez. I'm from Miami, Florida. Together with my friends Luis Anselmi from Canada and Vanessa Bosso from Mexico, we created Duck Move. Duck Move is a reflection of an environmentally unaware consumer through the perspective of a rubber dog. We hope you enjoy it. I've been alive for three weeks, maybe. Manufactured, sealed, and delivered to your door. I generally try to see the best in humans. But in all honesty, some of you people are making it really hard. Life in the tub was alright, I guess. Every day was a fresh start, followed by his daily routines. And by routines, I mean this one too. Because old habits are hard to break. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Four Walls Festival. Now we've had entries from all across the globe, but also across a whole bunch of categories. Our next is a stop motion animation from Ethan Lean. This is Speed. Hi, I'm Ethan Lean. I'm a filmmaker from here in Denver, Colorado. And my short film Speed is a mock car commercial made almost entirely out of stop motion. I hope you enjoy. Welcome back. I love a good stop motion. It brings me back to how a lot of us started filmmaking with Lego stop motions. Now I've got a comment here from Darish Singh who said he stayed up until 4am with his brother to watch from Malaysia. Hello. We wanted to make sure the Four Walls Festival was open to all ages no matter where they are on their filmmaking journey. Our next film is from two talented filmmakers, actually from Darish Singh. This is My Life Sucks. 
Hey, hey guys. guys, my name is Dheeraj Singh. I am 16 years old. I'm the director, the cinematographer, and also the editor for the short film. My name is Jaswir Singh, and I'm 13 years old, and I'm the lead actor and also the only actor for the short film. And we both are from Malaysia. Yeah, uh, the short film is called My Life Sucks, and the, the short film is basically about this kid. Uh, who is always constantly uh, really bored of his normal routine, his daily routine. The moral of the short film is that you choose when you want to be happy and when you want to be sad. That we should never rely on anybody else to make us happy, but we should rely on ourselves to make us happy. We hope that you uh, enjoyed this short film and we will see you guys soon. Bye! Bye. Challenge me, starting my week on a Sunday, and then they can make it a one day. I just been ready to take off. Where did my turn on the wrong way? Never be turning around, never be turning around. Hey, never be slowing it down, never be slowing it down. Hey, I keep my foot on the gas, I keep my foot on the gas. Hey, I know I'm never gonna crash, I know I'm never gonna crash. Hey, never be turning around, never be turning around. Hey, never be slowing it down, never be slowing it down. Welcome back to the Four Walls Festival. If you're just joining us, we're watching some of the best entries submitted from around the globe. Now, sometimes the best camera is the one you have with you. And our next film shows that limited gear should never stop you from telling a great story. Our next film will be taking away a... Oh, hi, Nori. <laughs> our next film will be taking away a mobile film prize package thanks to Joby. Thanks, Joby. This is Kazu Nakagawa from Auckland, New Zealand. Hi, I'm Ku. I did Kazu Nakagawa. He's a New Zealand artist. Um, he's also my dad. And we did a short film. Um, it's about a minute long. We shot it at home. And it talks about him, talking about his work, his philosophy in his work, um, and how that's reflected through his life. Um, so, hope you enjoy the film. <laughs> いつもそれをこう体感していたいっていうのが
道の庭にあるオリーブをピッキングしてそれをプリザーブするっていうことこれはフレイカメラで友達から買ったカメラテープで止まってるすり切れてレーザーをパッチで貼って使えないかもしれないけど<笑>これもさだからほらあの壊れちゃって壊れちゃったんだけど直して使ってみようまた。<音楽>こういうものって割れてまあそのままってはもう使えないけど命って終わらないじゃんだから直してその命をつないでるの。Hey, hey, welcome back. Congrats once again to Ku who took away the Joby prize package worth over $2,500 thanks to Joby. Oh, I threw asleep. <laughs>、um, we've got a comment here from Chris who says, Killing it, Chase. Nice work. Thanks, Chris. He's my boss. Our next film shows how life continues through the objects we pass on to our families. This is Life in a Box. Hello, Four Walls Fest. My name's Alex Rennes. The title of my film is Life in a Box.、Um, I'm Irish, living in the UK, and the film is about something that I inherited from my dad. And in this lockdown period, I've chosen to hand it down to my son. It started as something really technical, but、uh, it's ended up something very personal. So、uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Passed down from my grandfather to my dad and then to me. This box of bugs that succumb to the forces of entropy. Realizing my son. Five wouldn't be able to enjoy these ancient things like I did. I wanted to somehow immortalize their memory by capturing them on camera. And in doing so, what I didn't expect was what I felt. Free to tell yourself a new story about the past. You can actually change your relationship with a thought or a memory that has been cast away or lost. You can choose to see your story in a new light through a new lens. If you're just joining us, hello, welcome back to the Four Walls Film Festival presented by Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. I've loved watching all of your comments come in. Hello to Pavel, who says, Well done, I like the audio in this one on Ku's film. Thanks for your comments, guys. Don't forget, we're going to be giving away a Genie Mini to someone who leaves a comment on the live stream on YouTube. Now, we received over 300 entries into the short film festival, which was amazing. I loved watching every single one of them.、Um, And we thought we'd actually give out a spot prize too. So, congrats to Renata from Brazil who entered their film, The Hiker. You have won yourself a Genie Mini. 
enjoy. Give us an email and we will send that out to you. Um, if you entered a film today, you should also check your emails this week. We may have a little surprise for you. Our next film is from Kuni Chung in New York. Hi, I'm Kuni. Hi, I'm Shi Wen. We're from Taiwan and live in New York. Our film is called How to Protect Yourself During the Pandemic. The animation features our own stage dragon, and he will teach you the five intentional ways of protecting yourself during COVID-19. Enjoy. Enjoy. Welcome back. Now, the Four Walls Film Festival is a collaboration between Syrup Joby and then Frodo, but also the team at Views and the filmmaker Andy X. We're going to catch up with him for a couple of tips on filmmaking at home and how he managed to create his own film, The Joke, uh, entirely in isolation. Hey, Andy, how's it going? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you for being with us um, on the Four Walls Festival. Um, I really enjoyed watching your film, and I'm sure everyone else is going to enjoy watching it as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I hope people enjoy it. Have you managed to stay creative in this time of lockdown? Yeah, uh, good question. You know, I think um, when you are doing, let's say you're working as a filmmaker, you kind of quite often need to be creative or you need to come up with ideas and do things uh, yeah, creatively. And when you have restrictions, when you have, when it's like well, now, it was uh, lockdown in Norway, uh, you are, you have some restrictions, you know, you have to stay at home, and uh, maybe you didn't have time to bring all your gear from the office or something, so you just have some gear at home. And I think that will make you more creative because you you are forced to think differently. Uh, so during the lockdown in Norway, I definitely got uh, uh, I tested my creativity and making a video for the uh, for you guys uh, film festival and also when you're in lockdown you, you you start seeing things you normally don't see like in your house when it's daily life you know you just you do the regular things you brush your teeth you eat breakfast you dress and you go to uh, your job but when you have to stay at home you see things like oh I should have maybe painted that wall or oh is there ants in this room I didn't know so you see new things, and then also you get some new ideas on things. Uh, it's, it's a bit refreshing, actually. And, you know, people might look at lockdown or having these restrictions as a negative thing for the creative, creativity, but I think it's actually a good thing for the creativity. You definitely had a lot of those restrictions um, from shooting your film at home. How did you manage to shoot by yourself? Do you have any tips or any things that worked really, really well for you? Yeah, during lockdown, of course, it's it's hard to to have uh, you know handheld filming and stuff of yourself since you are by yourself. You can't meet people unless you have a girlfriend or something that you live with. Uh, it's easier, but uh, like for instance, we made a short film uh, in lockdown, and uh, we were supposed to film ourselves. And I couldn't. I did, I only had some tripods. I had a slider from Surf, and um, without the motor. So to get some moving shots, we had to be creative. So what we did was we started the whole film by using the tripod because I believe that 
actually using a tripod than just having a static shot, you will see that you need to use more time on the acting and everything that happens in front of the camera. And I think that's a good thing when you want to become a filmmaker and a director. You should practice by having the camera on a tripod and just use time to make it exciting what's happening in front of the camera. Because you shouldn't use the camera to force, or I would say it's, if you only want, if, you, if there's really boring things happening in front of the camera and you, you, you want to try to force the excitement up by using a uh, moving camera, of course it can help a bit, but the most important is what's happening in front of the camera. So having the camera on the tripod and try to yeah, make some interesting acting, storytelling in front of the camera. So that's uh, what's our idea to yeah. hopefully make it exciting in, um, story. Yeah. Uh, because I mean, if you have a if you have a good story, all the rest of that is sort of just the icing on top. But if you've got like no story and nothing interesting happening in front of the camera, no crazy epic camera moves or technical feats are going to make that interesting. So um, I think we should all bring that with us when we get back to work and get out of the house is to, to try to get things, narrow things a bit down before you start creating ideas, because I think it will help. Thanks, Anders. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Four Walls Film Festival. This is The Joke, which is a film Andy made over lockdown. Come on. Have yourself a cup. Ja, jeg fant det her nede i kjøret. Var ikke det imponerende? Nei? Hallo. Du, jeg har kommet ned til et annet sted. Jeg, jeg aner ikke hvor jeg er. <laughs> Slipp ikke til. Jeg kommer ikke opp igjen, du må, du må hjelpe meg. Oh shit, hva er det her for noe? Nei, du er jo bak der. Du, bare b- vent litt igjen. Vent litt igjen. Du, jeg tar på høyt hallig. Du må tro på meg. Du hadde vel hørt meg på kjøkkenet nå hvis jeg var der. Ta meg en svær kniv. Ta, ta, ta meg en svær kniv og kom ned. Nei, for deg. Welcome back. It is bright and early here in New Zealand. Nori is fast asleep, fast asleep. And this next question asks a really good question for us. The next film asks a really good question for us. This is Are You a Morning Person? 
Hi everyone, my name is Fabian Ortega, I'm from Chile and I produced the video Are You a Morning Person? So I titled the video Are You a Morning Person? because in this time of isolation we have so many questions for ourselves like are you good at this or are you good at playing guitar? things like that so the motivation for this video it was to keep trying new things and to answering all those questions so I hope you like it. Thank you so much. We need to stay home maybe for a few weeks or maybe for a few months. But yeah, then uh, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, I can I can make good coffee and make some good breakfast. Welcome back to the Four Walls Film Festival. I hope you've got your popcorn and are enjoying the short films as much as I am. Um, remember to leave a comment on YouTube and you could be in to win a Genie Mini thanks to Syrup. We've got a comment here from Enzo Tube, Enzo Tube who says, I can appreciate all the creativity and time all these people put into it. Yes, all the films we're showing today and actually all the films submitted into the festival as a whole have been absolutely amazing. I have really loved watching them. Our next film is from actually sunny Australia. This is Life of a Noodle. Hello, my name is Hayden Partridge, I'm from Adelaide, Australia, and I'm a sole creator of the film Life of a Noodle. I shot this film to really show off a newfound love of mine, me growing noodles, and to also show my appreciation for even the most simplest necessities in life. Thanks, hope you enjoy it, see ya. Welcome back. I've been stuck with my dog, all, uh, my dog Nori all locked down and most of you will have been stuck with your families. We loved how this next entry showed how one participant has gotten closer to her family over lockdown rather than starting to resent them. The next film is the winner of our youth category and has won a filmmaking kit worth over $2,500 thanks to Manfrotto. Thanks Manfrotto! The winner of the youth category is Familiar. My name is Aiko Lozar, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from San Diego, California. 
I made a film called Familiar, which is a portrait of my family, which was taken during social distancing, and it describes why, in my opinion, each and every one of them are heroes in their everyday lives. Thank you so much for watching. This is my dad. This is my mom. And this is my brother. This is my mom waking up. This is my dad making coffee for my mom. This is my brother waking up because of the coffee machine that my dad is using to make coffee for my mom. This is my brother giving my mom a hug. This family has vastly shaped my worldview of what a hero is. My mother is from the Philippines, and when she moved to the U.S., she lived on a military base called Treasure Island that is now a semi-toxic wasteland. In college, my mother was diagnosed with systemic lupus erythema. Erythema. Systemic lupus erythematosus. Yeah, that. Doctors told her a lot of things. They said she couldn't have children. They said she had three months to live. My mom doesn't listen to doctors. Apparently. My father listens to my mom because... Mom is always right. This is my father grabbing his suitcase. This is my father going to work. This is my father coming back from work. This is my father saying... Like most people... I don't always love my work. But I don't think he really means it. Let's go back to my mother. Despite her many health complications, she started the robotics program at Carlsbad Unified School District. There are literal thousands of students whose lives have been significantly restructured because of her work. There's something heroic about fighting a silent battle in your body and yet being able to smile and make others smile because of it. I love robotics! Let's go back to my father. I don't think my father hates his work. He just would prefer to write. Yeah, that's probably right. My father is sort of desensitized to pain and death because of all of his experience in the medical field. But he actually cares a really great deal. I think there's something heroic in creating something new or even just going to work every day. By those definitions, I think almost everyone is a hero. Even my brother. My family does not consist of presidential candidates or company CEOs. My family consists of everyday people who make food for each other and wake up late and watch a lot of TV. And their realism, their dynamic, that's what gives me hope. A hope for worldwide superhero resurgence. Of teachers, of coffee shop workers, of students. We all are heroes. So what's your superpower? Everyone wait! Welcome back to the Falls Film Festival. We're thankful for everyone who took the time to create a film and lockdown and share their creativity with us. Our next comment comes from Nils Klinger who says, this show is clearly not live. They are reading out fake comments. This is me proving that this show is very much live and I am reading your comments, but I'm glad you think our production is so slick that there is no way it could be live. Our next film is about being thankful for all of the things uh, you have. Like I am thankful for Nils for giving me the opportunity to prove this is live. Our next film is Thankful. Hi, my name is Nathan Matthews, and I live in San Francisco. My film is called Thankful, and it's a story about in these times of uncertainty, now more than ever, it's very important that you're thankful for the ones you love and the things that make you happy. Thank you. The speed of this pandemic and its devastating impact. More people have died in New York in the last day
Hello, hello, welcome back. Uh, we've got a question here from Clinic who says, how is this live multicam running? Um, we've actually got a crew here who are all socially distanced. Uh, so we've got Matt running multicam. Hello. And we've got um, Ben who is producing for me. Um, now, we've all been working from home over the past weeks and months, and that has definitely come with its challenges. Our next film is a mockumentary from Australia that, prof uh, that profiles a self-professed work-from-home guru. This is the work-from-home guru. Hi, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm from Australia, and my submission for this festival is the work-from-home guru. Now, spoiler alert, most of it is already in the title, and it's the journey of a young woman who becomes a master of working from home remotely. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Caroline and I'm a work from home guru. I've actually registered the trademark. I've had the time. I don't really vibe with the term lockdown. I prefer geographically neutral. It's very in right now. Well, I still keep my daily rituals going. I brainstorm buzzwords, afternoon calisthenics. Oh, and to keep morale high, I'm still the office prankster. Who took my lamp? It's important to stay connected, but not too connected. Lousy internet isn't your enemy. Caroline, why are you nodding? I haven't heard from you all week. Where get, are those reports get, you were get, so get, so get, far behind? Uh, I frozen? I guess you could say that I've got this whole working from home thing locked down. <laughs> Welcome back and hello to everyone commenting on the stream. A special hi to Panda Lemon who says, I like your dog. I'm sure my dog would like you too. Our next film is one that really blew us away. You could say it is out of this world. The winner of this category, so this is the winner of the animation category, and they will be taking home a stop motion kit from Syrup worth over $2,500. Thanks Syrup. This is To The Moon. Hello, my name is Millie McAllister and I'm from London, England, and my film is called To The Moon. It's about a character who finds himself lost in space, or alone in space, and who's fixated on getting to the moon. But it has a bit of a all that glitters is not gold kind of complex to it, because it doesn't exactly go to plan, but it's an enjoyable watch anyway, hopefully. So, I hope you enjoy. It took a lot longer to make than I thought it would. Thank you.
Hey, hey, and welcome back. We love the creativity across entries submitted to the festival. You made us laugh, you made us cry, and most importantly, you gave us a reason to stop watching Netflix. Our next film is in the format of an original miniseries, and I really love this film. This is Acts of Isolation. Hi, I'm Melinda. And my name is Scott. We're filmmakers from British Columbia, Canada. The name of our film is Acts of Isolation. We've created a mini-series that explores the different activities that people have been up to during self-isolation. We hope you enjoy. is freezing and trees start to bloat and I don't want to be sitting alone in a room that just filled with my soul I need to know everything Who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying But I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George I hop in the Porsche If I've been a horse I'm ready for war I'm coming for Welcome back. When we asked for submissions for the festival, we also wanted to see how you made your short films using Manfrotto Syrup and Joby Cat. The next film blew us away with its masterful use of papercraft. Everything in this next film, pretty much everything in this next film, was made from cardstock. 
The film will be taking away a prize package worth over $2,500 thanks to Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. Thanks, Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. This is Piper Car. Welcome back to the Four Walls Film Festival. I've loved hanging out in the chat and seeing all your comments. Now, this next film was one of my favorites, but also one of Nori's favorites, who is very much asleep. Very much asleep. This is Ruby. Hey guys, my name is Tom McCallum. I'm a filmmaker up here in Northern California, and the title of my film is Ruby. Um, when Shelter in Place happened, a local animal shelter that was shutting down called Hopalong asked me to take a mom and her three 12-day-old puppies um, to foster them for quarantine. And uh, that's what I did, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, all right? To the zone of crave, and it will always take your fall. You know, you know it's on your side. Seconds come and seconds go, come and go, but there is always time. It's all the way And all the words just crawl You never ever take a fall You know You never understand All the more you try to hide You never ever see Oh 
I have watched that film like 20, 30 times and it gets me every single time. Welcome back. Um, I'm hanging in the chat and hello to Mari Cruz who says, could you send greetings to Ecuador, please? Greetings to Ecuador. Um, we've also got one. Hi, Scott, who shot um, Acts of Isolation. He said he shot it on a GH5. Now, there's a little bit of confusion. We're already done with the mobile category. Pretty much all of the rest of the entries were shot on either um, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, or some professional-grade cameras as well. Um, we've got a whole bunch of comments on the puppies. They're insanely cute. And someone... Who was it? Enrique says, it's not fair to use puppies. I mean, that's exactly why I got my puppy here. Just drawing you, drawing you in with the puppies and and feeding you some good film. Um, our next film is a documentary that reminds us of the importance of family in what is a pretty hard time. This is Cherry Tree. My name is Chris Toche and I'm a filmmaker from Philadelphia. The film I made is called Cherry Tree and is about my dad's experiences growing up tending his grandparents' garden in New York. This film also showcases an original piece of music called Noni, written and performed by my dad. Thank you all, and I hope you enjoy. I was born in the Bronx, New York, and lived in a two-lot home. Um, half of that was the house, and the other half was a garden that my grandparents tended with love. And uh, besides the tomatoes and zucchini and things like that that they grew every year, we had bunch of fruit trees. We had apple and peaches and cherries. And every year it was my job uh, when the fruit was ready to pick the ripe fruit. Now the cherry trees blossomed pink early on in the spring and they were as I recall the first tree to fruit in the yard. And it was my job to pick them. Sometimes our grandfather would set up a ladder and I'd scurry up and uh, get on the limbs and I'd start picking cherries, crawling out and uh, picking them and putting them into a basket and then that was hung from another limb with a rope and hook and I'd fill the baskets up uh, with cherries. Uh, no matter how many years I did it, and I did it for as long as I lived there, uh, my grandfather would always remind me before I got started, don't cherries at the bottom of the tree. He wanted those left alone so that my grandmother, when she went through the yard, could always reach up and pick a cherry and eat it. And, you know, they were married for 70 years and he loved her all that time. Hello, hello! We're coming to the close of the festival and we'll be seeing who walks away with over 15k of gear thanks to Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. Now our next film, this was such a tough call to pick the winners. All the films you've seen today pretty much could have won. Like, they have just been so amazing. Our next film is actually the runner-up and it blew us away with its creativity and masterful storytelling. Please enjoy the runner-up of the Four World Film Festival. This is history. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Jones and I'm the director of the short film, History. In this film, we uncover the history of the original owners of a house by restoring old film reels found in our garage. In times where we're being kept apart, looking to the past can be a way to stay together. We hope this film inspires you to find common ground with others by connecting through the past. Please enjoy our short film, History. bought this house, the garage was in pretty bad shape. There were barn doors, plywood walls, creepy sinks, and a single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. It was totally lifeless. Except for one thing. 
film. The rolls of film were fused and corroded, and the images in them were completely indiscernible. This house was built in the 40s, and the previous owners were also the original owners. This house has over 60 years of their family history. And four years after moving into this house, I think I'm finally ready to see the history it's been trying to show me. If we can just save one frame. The current crisis has us all reflecting on what really matters. And what matters more than our history? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that film as much as we did. And from looking at the comments, you guys all did. Um, here is a special shout out to Clement Bart. Thank you for all your comments on this live stream. You have won yourself a Genie Mini. Send us an email at hi at fullwillsfilm.com to claim your prize. Now, out of 300 entries, we had an unbelievably hard task of picking a winner. The winner of the Four Wheels Film Festival is a film that ticked every box. And above all, it tells a story that gives me absolute shivers every time I watch it. The winner will be taking away a prize package worth over $15,000 thanks to Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. Thank you, Manfrotto, Syrup, and Joby. Please enjoy the winner of the first ever Four Walls Film Festival. This is Writer's Block. Hey everyone, my name's Andy and I'm a cinematographer from New Jersey. Hi, my name is Elton. I'm a songwriter and actor also from New Jersey. We are the writers and creators of the short film Writer's Block. Writer's Block is the glimpse into the life of a writer who is struggling to create during quarantine. We want to say a special thanks to Syrup Manfrotto and Joby for running the Four Walls Film Festival. It's made quarantine a little bit more tolerable. Uh, again, we want to thank you for the opportunity and we hope you guys enjoy the film. I can't imagine. Imagine my life without creativity or self-expression. I can't imagine my life sequestered within this void through muddled dreams and monotonous wake, each day no different than the last. I can't imagine being a prisoner in my own mind, reoccurring paths I've already been. When the weight of trauma holds all things to stand still, the march of time struggles to bring clarity. But suddenly, I'm struck with thoughts, mind's eye vibrantly conscious. No longer can I stand this canvas, blank without a purpose. I'll use whatever tools at hand to make a painting that's imperfect, but still worth it because the nature of life is so uncertain. We must keep on searching for more than just what appears. Strive to fight our fears and persevere, even when the other side of this abyss still isn't clear. All there is is here and now, so breathe in, let it out. Congratulations to all the winners of the Four Walls Festival and everyone who submitted a film. It has been an absolute pleasure taking the time to watch your entries. I really just enjoyed the creativity you showed. 
You need to stay home, stay safe, stay creative. Thanks again to Manfrotto Syrup and Joby for running this festival. To find more about the incredible camera equipment they make, head to manfrotto.com, joby.com, or syrup.co. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe, stay home, stay creative. Oh.